They then pass the person opposite to them by the left shoulder and they dance back to their original place. The first and second men and the third and fourth women are so delighted with that that they repeat it. But they pass the person opposite to them with the right shoulder. ago seven of us were going to Jersey and we got to the airport and the flight was cancelled because of fog and we tried every way we could think of by hovercraft or boat or another airline down from Southampton to get over to Jersey and we drew a blank so we all came back to my house and said what are we going to do for the rest of the weekend because we we're stuck and they decided well we would do various things but they said we won't go back to Jersey we'll go to Aaron how about Christine you come from Aaron you can organize it so the first one was held in 2007 uh, as a one-off and they enjoyed it so much they've been at me to do another one so this is the second one and possibly the last Oh, I was just going to say, when will the next one go? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, this is the last. <laughs> and you've got people from here from all over the world? Yes, I've got them from South Carolina, and uh, in America, and from Ontario in Canada, as well as Germany, and from Paris, as well as the British Isles. It's partly the dancing, but more the sociability. Um, it's a worldwide family really. You can go up to any part of the world virtually and dance. I danced in Japan two years ago and it was very revealing how, how good they were there. They're very, very good dancers, the Japanese. <laughs> future if you're not going to organize something here do you hope someone else will um, yes of course I, I love Aaron um, I would possibly if there was somebody else doing it I would like to help them because I think my local knowledge does help <laughs>